By the time Freightliner's new Cascadia begins arriving on dealer lots, nearly 10 years will have passed since the model made its debut. The basic Cascadia model has seen a ton of tweaks over the years, but Freightliner really went to town with this most recent update, a brand new interior, multiple powertrain upgrades, and a new cutting-edge approach to aerodynamic efficiency. In this video, I'll take you on a walking tour of the most significant visible changes found on the outside of the truck, as well as a few that aren't so obvious. Jim Park here, Equipment Editor for the Ultimate Test Drive. We're in Las Vegas with a brand new, new Cascadia from Freightliner. Let's start our tour the same way the wind sees the truck, from the front. So what Daimler's done from an aerodynamic perspective with the front of the truck is they've kept the front edge of the hood the same height as it is on the current Cascadia, but they've raised the back of the hood. So they've created a steeper angle, sleeper slope to it, which helps the air hit the hood, run up against the windshield and over the top of the truck so it cuts through the air a little more easily. They've also done some work with the front of the intake here. As the air passes through the cooling system, it runs into less resistance than it did on the current model, so that allows cleaner airflow through the hood, through the cooling package, and into the engine compartment. Small, but every little bit helps. Down below the bumper, what we've got is some aero treatment down here as well. A little deflector at the bottom, and that's all tapered and sculpted to help the air flow under the truck uh, as best as possible. There's also an optional air dam that bolts onto the bottom of this. That's part of the Aero X package, the advanced aerodynamic package. I'm a little worried about the ground clearance here when it comes to curb strikes and stuff. It's only about six inches off the ground, but Daimler says they've tested the device in all kinds of extreme weather, hot and cold, and run over all kinds of curbs and stuff on the test track. They say it's robust enough to stand up to anything that, that a trucker can throw at it on a day-to-day -day basis. So when you consider the fuel economy advantages to something like this, it's certainly worth taking a serious look at. What Daimler's done to improve the aerodynamics of this Cascadia from the hood, under the hood perspective, they've opened up the frame rails a little bit. That's allowed them to sit the engine down a little bit lower. The front of the hood is the same height as it is on the current Cascadia, but it's actually a little bit shorter. The engine's pushed back a little bit further under the cab, so you've got a steeper rake to the hood. But without lowering the engine, they wouldn't have been able to do that. Also, they got these, you know, relatively small features here. This is a gap closer between the hood and the front bumper. It's soft, it's flexible, so the alignment's not gonna be a problem, but that does keep a lot of the air from getting into the engine compartment. Freightliner is offering the new Cascadia with three different aerodynamic trim packages. The standard package includes a new sloping hood and grille, a bumper with an integrated lower air deflector, and 12-inch rear cab fairings. The top Aero X package includes a low clearance bumper, 24 inch rear cab fairings and a set of newly designed drive wheel fairings. This particular truck is equipped with a mid-level trim called the Aero package. So what we have here is what Freightliner calls its Aero package. This is a step up from the baseline but it's not quite the premium. They've got some Aero accoutrements on here that uh, make a big improvement over the older versions of the Cascadia and it's mostly small stuff that they've done but it's made quite a big difference. You can see here the transition between the forward part of the fender and the door is really well aligned, really smooth all the way down here. That really helps the airflow travel over that spot really easily. And this mirror design is new for the new Cascadia as well. It's been sculpted for optimum aerodynamics. Uh, you'll be able to see the shape of it. It's well curved at the front and the side and there's a transition point here to keep the air from curling around back in behind it. Uh, these are really securely mounted to the door. There's absolutely no wiggle or shimmy in these mirrors at all, even at low speed when you're idling and backing up. They've really made a lot of efforts to try and keep the side of the truck as smooth as possible. Down here, we have the chassis fairings, full chassis fairings in this case, with a soft rubber extender along the bottom. This is flexible so that if you're running over anything, it's not going to destroy your fairing. If we step towards the back of the fairing here, you can see how this piece is flared out to get around the drive wheel. That helps direct the air running along the side of the chassis out a little bit, 
so that it doesn't run into all kinds of problems as soon as it hits the drive wheels. So this is the Aero package with the 20 inch cab extender. If you get up to the next package, the Aero X, you get a 24 inch cab extender, which gives you that much more gap closure between the uh, back of the cab and the trailer. That's obviously better for aerodynamics, but there's a risk that you put this thing that much closer to the trailer, you start running into some problems with possible damage. And we go back a little bit further here to the drive axles, we've got these cool removable wheel covers. Obviously the purpose is to transition the air over the wheel rather than getting it caught in the bowl. If you have to take these off for maintenance or any kind of repair, you just press that black button, these things pop right off, you do your inspection, all your bolts are tight, everything looks good, you put it back on, give it half a twist, and they're locked in place, nothing to it. So what you don't see on this truck, as part of the Aero X package, are a set of drive wheel fairings that go in here. They're proprietary to Daimler and Freightliner, designed and built by, designed by Daimler and built by Flobolo. They go in here to fill this gap in between the wheels and under the trailer like that. And back here at the back, there's a, another fairing that comes up, covers this area here in the mud flap, and just helps again transition the air from the wheels, from the tractor, back towards the trailer. So uh, that's part of the Aero X package, and we don't see it here, but uh, it's available if you're looking for it. When Martin Dom first introduced the new Cascadia, he said the original goal was a 5% efficiency improvement over the Evolution model, but it actually came in 8% better and a whopping 19% better than the current base model Cascadia. Some of those gains come from the new Aero kit, but others come from the powertrain, which I cover in a subsequent video in the new Cascadia Ultimate Test Drive. Be sure to check out my tour of the truck's newly designed cab and sleeper area as well. For the Ultimate Test Drive, I'm equipment editor Jim Park, on the road outside Las Vegas with Freightliner's new, new Cascadia. Drive safe and keep your revs down.